I statement, you statement, what are all of these statements and why is it important for us to be able to use the correct one in our relationship? Come along and I will show you how you can use this tiny little word, you, and replace it with I and what kind of effect it will have on your relationship. Hello and welcome to Therapy from Inside Out. My name is Azadeh and I am a psychotherapist here in Los Angeles. Every week I will bring you topics so you can feel good in the inside, so you can conquer the outside, my friend. And as I mentioned, we are going to dive into I statement versus you statement. So I am going to start with what a you statement is and what kind of, I wouldn't say benefit, but what kind of harm it can uh, create in your relationship. So, a great example of a you statement. You are always late and you make me so angry and upset. So what you did right now, you blamed your partner for what you are feeling. You created a toxic, toxic environment. And you brought shame and resentment. So your partner is right now in a defensive mode. So your partner's defenses have gone up. And you know what happens when our defense mechanism goes up? Our ears, they stop to work. We're not listening anymore. What we are doing, we're trying to defend ourselves. We're trying to defend our feelings. We're trying to defend what we stand for instead of listening to our partners because we have been attacked. We have been attacked by the enemy. Well, it's not the enemy, but at that point, it might feel like it is the enemy. So as you can see, it's not useful to use the you statement if you want to create a healthy relationship, healthy communication skills with your partner. So let's look into what an I statement is. So an I statement is, I feel worried when you are late. It makes me upset and I feel sad when I don't hear from you. So right away, you could see that it comes from my internal emotions. I am stating how I feel when you, as my partner, you are late. It makes me um, upset and I worry a lot. And now I'm able to express that to you. And what it does is that when we use the I statement, our partner they are more willing to listen to us because now they don't have to defend themselves. Now they are open to be able to really take in and listen to what is it that we are trying to convey to them. Well, isn't that much better than trying to blame them and hurt them when we ourselves are hurt and we feel neglected in the process? So. I want you to think about you statement as you trying to punish your partner, as you are trying to scold them. In I statement, you are trying to guide them. You are trying to tell them what it is internally that you are feeling and what is it that you're trying to accomplish or what is it that you need from them. So always start with I Second is a feeling, I feel upset, I feel hurt. And then because comes after your feeling and then what is it that you need from your partner? I hope this tool that we use a lot in psychotherapy for our clients can be helpful for you to better your relationship, to a create a space that you both can have a um, dialogue and really listen to each other because the key to um, change in any relationship is if your partner is there and listen and um, take in what kind of uh, feelings that you are experiencing at that moment. So thank you so much for uh, watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video to whomever you think would be benefit from this. And till next time, I hope you are keeping safe and you are keeping kind. Mwah.